Hello friends, my name is Taufik and you are watching my channel Graphics Den. So in this video, I am going to tell you how to use group selection tool in Adobe Illustrator. So let's get started. So first I will create some shapes. I will create a rectangle shape and then I will copy this using the Alt key or Option key if you are using Mac. Then again I am going to press Ctrl D or Command D if you are using Mac. Again I will select all the objects again Alt plus left click to copy. I will change the color this time again I will make another copy like this now as you can see we have nine objects and nine layers one main layer and nine sub layers now I am going to divide these nine objects into three groups so I will select these three and you can either press ctrl G or command G or you can simply right click and create a group again right click group similar thing group now as you can see in the layers panel we have three groups and nine objects three objects in each group <coughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all three groups and create another group so as you can see this is the main group and we have three group inside this main group so if you know if you already know direct selection tool even though these objects are in group the direct selection tool what it does is it selects individual objects even if the objects are in the group it still select individual objects so you can uh, select individual objects change color uh, or if you want to displace them you can also displace the objects that you have selected so group selection tool does pretty much similar thing but it has some more properties like if I click once then it will select single object but if I click one more time it will select the entire group and if I click one more time then it will select the entire main group I will show you once again now as you if you look carefully in the group panel or in the layers panel rather if I click then it has selected this single layer if I click one more time then it has selected the entire group this one and if I click one more time then it will select the entire group as you can see it has selected all the objects so that's why this group selection tool is quite useful you can change the color and you can also if you want you can displace the objects that we have selected I will show you an example so it will give, give you more clarity I will change the color so this is an illustration and it, as you can see this is a group of many objects so if I click using the group selection tool it will first select single object if I click one more time then it will select the entire group so using this tool I can easily change the color like this so if there was no group selection tool it would have taken us so much time to do this simple task so that's why group selection tool is very useful especially while working with these kind of illustrations so if I click one more time again click twice and I can simply change the color like this so I'm going to keep it to black I will show you one more time one click click it twice then it will select the entire group like this so this is why the group selection tool is quite useful especially while working with illustrations so this is how we can use the group selection tool i hope you find this video useful if you do please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video until then bye bye and cheers